Hello again, this is Mark O'Brien, one of the co-founders of Project Libre, along with Laurent Crecino. The video today will be for users looking to change languages. Project Libre reads from the Java language system default. We often get requests that users want Project Libre to be launched with a separate language from the system defaults. This just occurred with an Italian partner who also teaches a university project management class, but wants the class taught in English. So we thought this would be helpful. This is an important topic. As you can see from our website map, we were virtually in every country in the world and happily on all seven continents recently having users in Antarctica. If you cursor over the countries on our map, you can see the downloads. For instance, Mexico, uh, 174,000, Brazil, over a quarter million. Over in Africa, you can cursor over and you can see every country actually has users. Somalia, Ethiopia, Kenya, there's almost 8,000. And then over in Europe, uh, France, Germany, UK, Spain, and then also down into Southeast Asia. We've been translated into 31 languages. Uh, you can read the languages in the graphic, but essentially they support our roughly 200 countries. We are releasing a new version soon, and it will contain the new languages in red. Bulgarian, Chinese traditional for our users in Taiwan, Hong Kong, and Macau. Danish, Greek, Thai, and Vietnamese. I want to thank all the translators, both for the new languages and all translators for their community support. Here is the Italian version of the Gantt chart uh, or of Project Libre. I will demonstrate you'll create a folder under your computer user account naming it .project libre and putting a file in that folder called projectlibre.conf.conf and a single line in the file simply locale equals en for English or example es for Spanish or de for German. Here are some examples I took this morning of Project Libre in the different languages. By simply changing the locale equals line. Italian, as I mentioned, was IT, French FR. Here is Project Libre in Spanish, in Arabic, in Dutch, in Hindi, Korean, Farsi, Portuguese, Brazilian Portuguese. We do have multiple versions of Portuguese, Russian, Spanish, Swedish, Tamil. Turkish, Urdu, and in German. I have toggled over to my Finder window. Let's create the environment. Note, this is on my Mac, but the folder to be created, the file, and the line are the same in Windows or Linux. On my Mac, we need to create a .project libre folder. Note that a dot .folder is a system folder and is not shown or allowed to be created by default on the Mac. We needed to press the Shift command and dot key simultaneously when in the finder window and you will see the additional folders, system folders that were hidden arrive. It gives you the rights also to create the Project Libre full dot Project Libre folder. It, it, if you don't expose the system files it will give an error and you won't have the rights. So let's create that folder. File, new folder, and we'll just name it dot Project Libre and hit return. It will give you an error. Are you sure you want to use that name with a dot? It's uh, an invisible file, so it does give you a warning. I'll say OK. OK, let's toggle over to the text editor. And we'll select a new. We're in the Project Libre directory. One thing to note on text editors with preferences, you can see sometimes the rich, def rich text uh, file, RTF, is the default. We want plain text, so just make sure of that, otherwise this won't work. We'll say New Document, and we'll type in our locale equals, and we'll do English, and we will name this Untitled, we will name it projectlibre.conf and we will put that in our .project directory. And you can see that it actually by default adds the .txt and we will take care of that in Finder. And then we can click on that. So if we go to Finder and Project Libre, we can then just go to this file and we can update that so that's just .cnf. And yes, we're going to use .cnf. 
and if we go back to our text edit, you can see it's now .cnf. If I launch Project Libre, oh, let me close it actually. It's in a different language. It's a good, good example. So now that if I launch Project Libre, it will now be in English. And you can see it's now in English. If, if I change that file, and let's change it again, I'll go back to the text edit, and we'll change it to Spanish, which is .es. Let's close Project Libre, and let's launch Project Libre again. And when we do, you will see Project Libre is now in Spanish. And we can do that for the various different languages. Let's change uh, one more language. Let's go back to the text editor. And for the last time, we'll do equals hi, which is Hindi. And again, I will close out Project Libre. Launch Project Libre one more time. And you will see it in Hindi. Hindi. To recap, uh, what we'll do is you create a folder in your user folder, call it .projectlibre, create the file in that folder called projectlibre.conf, making sure to edit the possible default extension if it adds a .txt. We want just projectlibre.conf as the name and put a line in your text file simply locale equals with your desired language tab. There are other ways, like changing your system preferences from the default language to the desired language. This may require a reboot and will change all applications to that language. When Project Libre or other applications are opened, you will have that language change. However, if you want to return to your default language when done using Project Libre, you will need to reverse the order and reboot. Creating the directory and text file is an easy way to ensure you can launch Project Libre in the language separate from your system default. Project Libre is used in virtually every country in the world and all seven continents, as we had mentioned. In many instances, the project needs to be communicated from one country to another, and the project manager can manage, for instance, in Hindi, and have the project sent to the UK and opened with an English interface. This should be helpful if you can assist with getting Project Libre's word out there. We are hashtag Project Libre on Twitter and have our Facebook page along with the YouTube channel. If you do subscribe to the YouTube channel, you will be alerted to new videos. Thank you for being a Project Libre, Libre community member and wishing everyone success and good health.